Hey my angels, so my goal for this video is to encourage you to decorate for less. I went to the Dallas store for most of my supplies so you get to do this glitter pumpkin lights and also a chic and elegant way to display your favorite things at the moment or get into the festive fall and winter spirits. You just can't believe how chic it looks. So before we glam up, make sure to visit two talented ladies on their take of this crafty season home decor. So if you're looking for more skincare tips, make sure to check out All Natural 28. This is the first DIY decor, but Miss B Trendy has been doing decors forever and she's a fashionista like myself. Links are down below, so check them out. Let's start with the easiest. I found this bubble candle holder at Hobby Lobby for five bucks and this glass of Bordeaux at the dollar store. So make sure to peel off the sticker and clean the top and bottom surface of your holders. So you're going to need some glue that can adhere to glass like the E6000 or some epoxy glue. This will dry clear and place a glass vase or votop on top. Make sure it's centered and let it dry for 24 hours before displaying. So what to do? You can display this on your vanity to hold your makeup brushes, onto your office to hold your go-to sunnies, and stack up your favorite jewelry that you wear for the week and also nail polish. This next idea is for fall and winter, you can use Epsom salt so it can look like snow and I like to mix a little bit of glitter. Epsom salt is used to relieve stress when you're taking a bath. So now I'm just mixing this up and it gives me a winter themed setting where I place a candle that I found at Hobby Lobby for $3. Now I have this adorable snow owl decor. Onto the pumpkin, you're going to need a foam pumpkin and I got this for a dollar also with the tea lights. You can use a real one or an LED if you feel like you might burn something if you left it unattended. Once you decide what tea light to use, you're going to place it on the stem of the pumpkin. Use a marker or a pen to trace around it. This is where you're going to cut it out with an X-Acto knife because they give an exact cut. And I like to place the pumpkin on the desk so it's easier and you don't cut yourself and pull off the stem. Alright, so this will get messy, so place wax paper or aluminum foil down before you do this. You're going to need Maj Paj, but if you don't have that, it's okay. Use craft glue and some water. You're going to add about a quarter of an ounce of your water to your craft glue. Depending how much you have, just use just about a quarter of it. Mix it together in a bowl or a container and pour it all over your pumpkin with a foam brush, which I also got for a dollar. Glam it out with the glitter all over and don't be stingy because all that glitter will be recycled back whatever is not used into the container for other projects. Make sure to place the pumpkin to the side so it doesn't stick at the bottom. Let the layers dry for an hour or three depending how many layers of glitter you used. And now you're going to add a light glaze on top and press the glue onto the glitter. It will help prevent glitter from falling all over your house when you're decorating. To let it dry for 48 hours before adding your tea lights inside. And now you can decorate your room. I have it in my office. Light it up. Enjoy and be inspired. So make sure to check out my YouTubers I collab with, Miss B Trendy and All Natural 28 for their home decor ideas. See you guys soon. Bye!